In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the fuser replacement uh, instructions for the HP 751, 856, 776, and uh, a few other E models. And before we begin, make sure you check out MetroFuser.com for HP fusers and kits. And the link is will be in the description below. We'll be used today. We'll be using the 751 as our demo machine but the process is similar across all the models and whether it's simplex or duplex. And we're gonna approach the printer from the rear. Now the repair time is about 15 minutes. Basically just need a flathead screwdriver. Now this does not come in a maintenance kit format, just a fuser. The parts we're covering today are the recommended parts to replace when you're replacing the fuser, which will be the transfer roller, tray one step roller, tray one pickup roller, and tray two step roller and pickup rollers as well. Okay, and we'll reinstall. Recommended page yield for this device is about 150,000 pages, sorry. Okay, and we'll reinstall. We'll remove the fuser, two blue handles, left and right side. And we'll reinstall. On installation, make sure you hear the click and pull back just to make sure it's fully engaged in the printer or you will get uh, errors. And that's it. And this, uh, once done, this fuser has its own reset um, procedure. So there's nothing to reset as far as page count goes. Uh, and, and this fuser and, and uh, kit parts are available in a number of different ways here at MetroFuser.com, as well as printer diagrams if you uh, need those as well. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more videos and instructions. Visit MetroFuser.com. Have a great day.